All right, update time. I got eight updates. Uh, so I'm gonna start, I'm in West Ocean City now. I'm gonna go from here to downtown and then go out to uptown Ocean City and then do the final one um, up there. But in the meantime, the first one, the outlets are right here. I'm at uh, Park Place Shopping Center and the first one's Tequila Mockingbird. Uh, this location is closed. Um, they shut this one down. So uh, the other one is still open. This one is uh, closed. Uh, today is their final, uh, their final day. Um, they haven't really said why. I'm assuming it's just because of lack of sales. But uh, they, yeah, they haven't really said much. This, to be honest, this shopping center is not really that busy. So, um, all right, I'm gonna head into Ocean City now. I got one on the way in that I'll kind of uh, pass by pretty quick. So um, I'll see you in a second. So I'm, I'm getting ready to head up to the next one. Uh, this time of year is normally. Uh, when you start to hear of things that are happening, uh, just because people are, are either getting out of business or trying to sell their locations or things like that so that the new business can open uh, in time for for spring. So uh, it's kind of crunch time, I guess I guess you could call it. December, January is usually that time frame. February is when everyone's kind of like just really pushing to open, uh, get ready to open, finalize uh, different things, and then uh, be ready to go. So uh, anyway, the next one uh, is the, uh, it was the Shell gas station. It was right here on the corner. Uh, they removed all the pumps and it's not a gas station anymore. I, I guess they sell like sandwiches or something. It's kind of, I don't know, kind of odd. But uh, yeah, the auto shop is open, but there's no gas pumps anymore. So I don't know why they took them out. I thought that it was, um, th they were up upgrading them like they are to a couple other gas stations in the area. Um, and I saw them removing them and all that, and then they just never put them back. So tore the sign down, everything. So that's completely gone. So next one up is going to be the, um, uh, it was the frog bar, not the one at the inlet, the other one. So I'm gonna do that one next. Next one up, um, trying to remember. This was Bahama Mamas, then it was Buddies, then it went to Frog Bar, and the Frog Bar went out, and now it's OC Bay Bar. Um, they're doing some construction. Oh, redoing all the... So that's what this one is, OC Bay Bar. Uh, he, they were open this year. It's the same owners as Toast, which is in West Ocean City, literally right over there, um, right next to the Francis Scott Key uh, Hotel. So... Uh, yeah, same owners, but um, yeah, they were open this year. Uh, they didn't really do, uh, it sounded like they were just pretty much open um, kind of on weekends and stuff like that, but um, they should be ready to go. I would say full swing next year um, as they get everything ready. There's no signs or anything that says it. I mean, that's pretty much it. So, all right, I'm off to the next one. The next one's up. I'm not going to go to it, but it was the uh, bull on the beach that was on the boardwalk. They are... Uh, shut down. They did not renew the lease. So uh, that location is closed. The other one is still open uh, and they're not shutting that one down. It's only the one on the boardwalk. The next one is a uh, couple hotel updates uh, and then I'm going to go do uh, uh, two more after that. As you can see, it's pretty quiet down here now. Uh, normally around Thanksgiving it picks up and then it, it kind of calms down after that and then uh, Christmas and New Year's it'll pick up again a little bit and then it's pretty much like dead of winter like dead dead uh, after that until uh, springtime St. Patrick's Day but yeah there's really not that many people here now so the next one up is um, the Dunes Manor and uh, Margaritaville I'm gonna do those two uh, and I'll go to each one and kind of explain what's going on the Margaritaville one is uh, super super confusing so um, yeah I'll explain that one when I get there I'll see you in a second this one's Beach Plaza Hotel there is updates on this it's been extremely slow um, but uh, yeah okay so I'll try to unpack everything that kind of went on before so it's good. As you know, it's going to be the Margaritaville, and they were going to extend the hotel up over the alley this way. Uh, the city said no. They needed access to this alley, so they would not allow them to build up and over. Um, so they went through. They redid all the plans and all that. It got approved, and then uh, the city 
was going to do a project where they were going to take all the power lines and bury them underground for storms, hurricanes and stuff like that. So you don't, um, so they don't lose power during all the storms. So they got the bid for it. The bid came in. It was well over uh, what they estimated it to be. So then they abandoned that idea uh, or they abandoned the alley. So the alley now is um i guess it's up to margaritaville if they want to build into it or not um then just recently uh about a week or so ago there was a petition that went out they needed a certain amount of signatures um for uh for approval for the alley so uh that's going to vote now the residents of ocean city are going to vote uh for or against it for the city to abandon the alley or keep the alley so um yeah very very confusing um they did say that the construction on it i think was going to start 2023 let me double check real fast okay yeah they were saying that construction is supposed to start october of 2023 so uh we got a while and then it's not going to finish until around may of 2026 but we know how that goes it's always going to end up longer so but that's what it is now that's where it stands so um i guess we'll wait and find out on the alley what they decide to do what they vote on so next up is uh dunes manor and uh i got another cool one after that so this one real quick it's a uh, dunes court so there's dunes court and then uh dunes manor hotel both of the properties were sold this one went to the harrison group they bought it and then the hotel was uh sold to um uh hilton so it's going to be a, a corporate hotel coming in there uh, it sounds like it's going to be one of those upscale ones so it should be pretty nice um but yeah as far as the, the go they they pretty much they split the properties so um that was just a quick update on that one there were some people that were confused they thought that um hilton bought both or the harrison group had bought both but no it's um they split them up the hotel is actually right next door um dunes manor right there so uh yeah so that's that's what they did with that one the next one i'm gonna go over to is uh blue crab house uh, i got a cool update for you on that i just found out yesterday so uh, yeah i'll see you in a second over there all right i'm at the um blue crab house sort of complex i guess you could call it um i, I uh i was here yesterday and um uh i got like sort of a a, a tour of um of the whole complex it's the, it's incredible it's insane um it, definitely a place to check out uh but there is still a lot of construction and stuff going on in there uh they're just finalizing stuff to get ready to go i'll start at the bottom and then um kind of work up to the top of what's up there uh so the bottom is the blue crab house is is all the way at the bottom that's the doors to get in right here it goes uh there's going to be a brewery in there the other one brewing company nate the brewer that was at um backshore brewing on the boardwalk uh he partnered up with them and he's has his brewery in there uh and there's jay's cafe it's a coffee shop um got a couple like uh t-shirts and things like that in there when you go up to the second floor uh there's an arcade up there right by that window right there uh it's a small little arcade uh it's got some really cool games uh and then there's going to be an axe throwing uh place in there too which i yeah i think it's going to be on the the second floor up in there um going to the third floor up there is all private events which looks awesome uh and that one is gonna be super cool that's gonna be embers so they have uh where the pillars are that are coming down they're gonna have plastic that'll come down so they can enclose it but the, the patio goes all the way out there and the view of the bay from up there is insane so uh i am super super uh excited to see how that turns out they're still building everything up there um they have uh pizza ovens that were imported from italy so i have a feeling that's that's going to be a pretty cool place and then you got the arcade right there so if you know the, the kids can stay occupied while you're up there having dinner or whatever and um just a super super cool complex it's it's really unique uh and it's awesome definitely check it out um embers is going to be open i think in april of next year is when they're shooting for uh, i'm trying to get a uh sort of a sneak uh preview of it before they open so i can really show you how cool it is but i mean it's it's awesome 
So, all right, I'm headed up to Uptown Ocean City now. I got one more update up there at the Sun and Surf, and that'll be it. So my last and final update is Sun and Surf. Obviously they're closed, they've been closed. Uh, we were waiting to find out what was gonna happen. Uh, it was a hotel developer that bought the property and we were trying to see if, are they gonna put a hotel in or what are they gonna do? Nobody really knew. Um, they just released the plans that it's not gonna be a hotel. It's actually gonna be townhouses. It, the property was zoned for 101, but uh, they're only gonna put 56. And they said that they're only filling 55% capacity because they want to put a, um, uh, they want to do a courtyard, a rain garden, a picnic and grill area, and a swimming pool too. So, but it sounds like it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, I'm happy to see it's not going to be a hotel. And it sounds like the, the residents that live in the area uh, are for the townhouses. So, uh, yeah. Good to see Townhouse is not a, another hotel. But that's all I got for this one. Um, if I hear of anything else, like I said, December, January is usually when everything kind of speeds up. Uh, if, I, if I hear of anything else, I'll, um, I'll either do another video or I'll just put some updates in the uh, description below. So, all right, I'll see you guys later.